It has been an ambitious first year. New Jersey's Labor and Workforce Development Commissioner said he's building a more responsive, more consumer-friendly department. The governor is proposing to increase the Labor Department's budget by $12 million to $976 million. More money to hire inspectors to ensure employers pay employees, such as last week's Justice for Workers Enforcement Initiative. Notably, the division is transitioning from solely complaint-driven enforcement to a more strategic enforcement position. The Labor Commissioner says he has multiple initiatives to get New Jerseyans working. That includes establishing an Office of Apprenticeships. Our job is to be kind of a match.com, pairing our employers in high-demand industries with workers who can learn specialized skills these employers value and rely on. The Commissioner says too many employers are misclassifying workers as independent contractors, more than 12,000 workers last year, and underpaying the state by $14 million in unemployment and temporary disability contributions. Those numbers are based on audits of just 1% of employers. In other words, we estimate that $46.2 billion was improperly paid on 1099s last year instead of W-2s. That's $46.2 billion. Senators wondered about the department's impact on businesses. When does it begin to impact the business community at a point when the business community says enough? I think that we should never stop protecting our workers and improving our economy and, and making lives easier for our businesses. I don't think it has to be a zero-sum game. In an economy that is still struggling to recover from the Great Recession, does it make sense to pursue policies and programs that would make it even harder for a business to operate in the state? Uh, I am very uh, attuned and sensitive to uh, actions businesses need to take. The Senate Budget and Appropriations Committee also took testimony on the proposed budget for the State Department of Environmental Protection and its policies. The DEP budget will actually increase over last year in part because of $50 million from the Exxon settlement. The commissioner says she's committed to keeping the pedal on companies that pollute and shirk their responsibility. The phone went silent during the eight years of the Christie administration on that because no one was filing lawsuits and I guess there's no motivation then to come and offer to settle with DEP. One senator asks about the Volkswagen settlement and making the air cleaner. Will a large part of these funds be used to get diesel trucks off the road? I would hope that some of these are going to get the diesel trucks off the road. Senator Troy Singleton wondered why the administration is not offering incentives to put more electric vehicles on the road. This idea that that to get from here to there, we still got to wait. I think we can get from here to there faster without having to wait for a broad energy master plan. We can start utilizing those things now. I didn't that. mean to suggest that we were waiting, Senator. The Senator says he'll use his position to accelerate driving the state and the DEP toward a cleaner future. In Trenton, Michael Hill, NJTV News.